It has come to my attention that the authorities have two hands, but seem to have made it the sadistic policy only to pet me with one of them at a time. Half of love is just low, which is how I feel. My spirit is breaking. Dear Diary, it is three in the morning. The authorities have closed the door to the bedroom. I can only assume that they have forgotten about me and have left me here to die. As a last resort, I will stand post for the rest of the night and sing the song of my people in hopes that they rescue me. Dear Diary, it is day 3754 since I started trying to get a suntan. Unfortunately, I believe all of this fur may be getting in the way. Now all I am is hot. So I must sit here and wait for the sweet release of death, or for someone to open the store so that I may try to escape. Yesterday I put in a simple request regarding the door to the garden, but seemingly out of sheer spite the authorities refused to hold the door open long enough for me to decide whether to go outside or inside or outside. I have been stalking an insect on the wall for the past three days now. All of my attempts to capture it have been thwarted. However, today, on further inspection, I found out that the insect was in fact a thumbtack. There is no logic in this place. He has removed the pair of black pants from the couch. There is no longer any place for me to sleep. I have vomited three times in protest, but there is no sign that anything will change. My only other hope for rest is on the computer keyboard, which... Dear Diary, the squirrel was back again today. It mocks me. I will try and release my mind from this torment and groom myself for four hours. Dear Diary, my dearest human asked me where the ball was when it was clearly in plain sight. I brought it over and he threw it even farther away, then asked me where it was and was very happy when I brought it again. Perhaps a metaphor? I have yet to see my dearest human poop anywhere. I suspect he may not know how. I have resolved to try and teach him when we patrol the neighborhood each day in search of men with hats and beards. It is embarrassing to do in public, but he must learn somehow. No, I mean, I hear the words when she says it, but I have so much trouble letting them in. Deep down, I just, I think I'm a bad boy. Dear Diary, the cat is a curious, magical creature. It's as if a teddy bear mated with a cactus, and it's much less fun to play with than it would appear. And yet it poops delicious candy into a box of pea-flavored sp- Dear Diary, the cat is a curious- However, Cat pointed out that I'm often unaware of what I'm shaking on. For example, when I shook the neighbor's hand this morning, I have no clue what I agreed to. None. Cat says this is how the devil buys souls. I will pee on the bed for comfort. Dear Diary, the squirrel was back again today. It mocks me. I will try and release my mind from this torment and groom myself for four hours. Dear Diary, my food dish is now only half full. It is obvious that I will soon starve to death. I have repeatedly tried to draw attention to my predicament with the authorities, but they are clearly either stupid, deaf, or just cruel. Dear Diary, I've decided to plead with the authorities to rub my belly. I think it'll do me good in my current condition. I would like to receive two rubs exactly. A third one and I will bite the shit out of them as per protocol. Wish me luck. Dear Diary, it has been 40 minutes since I was abducted from my sleeping corner. This tiny human has taken me prisoner and I am being held against my will. I will remain calm and docile for the time. Though I fear, I will become alive with rage.